Welcome to Maggie Walker. My name is Kate Spiewalski and I'm a senior from Henrico. My name is Daisy Banta and I'm also a senior from Henrico. We'll be your tour guides today and we'll be happy to answer any questions you may have throughout the tour. Well, this is Maggie L. Walker Governor School for Government and International Studies, a comprehensive public high school in the Richmond metropolitan area. Last spring, Newsweek named us 14th best high school in the nation. Also, the Richmond Times-Dispatch has called us the finest comprehensive uh, high school, public or private, in the Richmond metro area. Currently, we have 727 students enrolled at Maggie Walker from 12 school districts. Competition for these slots is fierce, and last year we had over 1,000 applicants for our freshman class. The Governor's School was opened in 1991 at Thomas Jefferson High School and was moved to this location in 2001. Currently, we are in the Bluestone Lobby, which houses the office of Mr. Tharp, our Coordinator of Administration, as well as the clinic and attendance offices. This is the Digital Media Lab, which is our newest computer lab in the school. Here we have 10 Macintosh computers, which have software for art and music classes. Therefore, this uh, room is used by many different classes, such as digital video, digital media, um, and the music seminar because they have a recording booth in the back. Um, throughout the school we have eight different computer labs, over 200 computers, as well as many laptops which can be used at teacher's disposal. We also recently, as of last year, um, have Wi-Fi for all students on their personal devices. Welcome to the library here at Maggie Walker where we have shelves and shelves of books and CDs that students may use. Uh, they, students also have access to online databases and full, full borrowing privileges at the VCU library. Students in dual enrollment classes may use the VCU online databases as well. Mr. Groh, our librarian, helps the students out through research projects and in papers that are in through all of the subjects that they take. This is the Student Commons, where many students, especially sophomores and juniors, spend time before school, after school, and during lunch. Also, because Maggie Walker does not have study hall classes, many students choose to spend their free period time here working on homework or projects with friends. Unlike many public high schools, Maggie Walker has one single lunch period for 50 minutes every day. Students typically will eat in the cafeteria, but they're allowed to eat anywhere throughout the school. Because the lunch period is so long, that's when we'll have club meetings. I normally will eat in the library doing homework or go to a meeting such as for Fellowship of Christian Students or Global Citizens Corps. This is an English class taught by Ms. Yeagle. In addition to the four required years of English at Maggie Walker, students can take different electives such as yearbook and creative writing. Also, in freshman and sophomore years, students study works of literature in their English classes which correspond to the areas of the world that they are studying in their global studies classes. For example, ninth and 10th graders this past year studied Chinese history and then read selected works of Asian literature in their English classes. Here we are in the art studio where Coach Hall's Art One class is being taught. Students are required to take one fine arts credit, but many will take multiple classes within the department from are levels one through five. Next door we also have photography with the availability of a dark room. Our uh, dual enrollment art classes are also offered, such as art history. This is the black box, which is a multi-use space used by the drama club for drama productions and practices, as well as for music practices, testing, and for lunchtime performances by groups like our improv group. Um, our drama department has three plays a year, the first being the fall play, then Winter One Act, which are directed by students, and then a spring musical. This past year's spring musical was How to Succeed in Business. This is the music room here at Maggie Walker. Musical groups include orchestra, jazz band, jazz improv, chorus, and deadbeats, which is an a cappella group that students formed on by themselves. These groups will have musical performances in the fall and in the spring in the evenings for parents and teachers and students to come and attend. Also, during study halls or lunch periods, there are practice rooms throughout the school that students can use. This is the language lab, which is used by many different language classes to improve students' speaking and listening skills, as well as for testing. We offer 10 different languages here at Maggie Walker, French, Spanish, German, Italian, Latin, Russian, Arabic, 
American Sign Language, Chinese, and Japanese. Students are required to take four years of one language and two years of another. The languages I take are French and Italian. This is one of the six teacher workrooms in the building at Maggie Walker. Teachers spend their free periods getting work done or helping students that come for extra help. This is one of the many small conference rooms located throughout the school. These rooms are used by teachers and students for making up work and tests, as well as for meetings and group projects. Students participate in many group projects during their time at Maggie Walker, um, some of which include skits and dialogues in language classes and um, making a historical newspaper in AP US history classes. Here we're in the Maggie Walker boardroom where we will have various meetings for different groups here, including committees for the regional school board. The board consists of one school board member and the superintendent from each locality we serve, and it meets once a month. Maggie Walker has been called one of the greatest examples of regional cooperation in the Richmond area. This is the Governor's School Foundation, which raises funds for the school and keeps in contact with alumni. Our first class graduated in 1995, and we have over 2,700 alumni living and working throughout the world. Our alumni come back for many different events throughout the year, such as Fall Festival, the annual alumni teacher reception, and many more. 42% of our alumni last year donated to the annual fund campaign. This is a portrait of Magdalena Walker, whom the school was named for in 1938. Even though she was born to a former slave in 1864, Mrs. Walker was the first woman in America to start a bank. The school was an all-black school from 1938 to 1971, and then it closed in 1989. Maggie Walker reopened in 2001 as the Governor's School when the Governor's School was moved from Thomas Jefferson High School. This is the auditorium which seats about three quarters of the student body. We use the auditorium for many musical and drama performances as well as special assemblies like our annual Asian assembly and guest speakers. Last year, during the school year, we had presidential candidate Gary Johnson come speak during lunch. Here we are in the second floor office. Our director is Dr. Jeff McGee and it's his second year here at Maggie Walker. Before coming to our school, Ms. Dr. McGee served as the principal at the Department of Defense School in South Korea. This is Dr. Ellis' office. Dr. Ellis is our coordinator of curriculum and instruction, and next door is the student ambassador room. Student ambassadors like Daisy and myself help out um, as spokespeople for the school, giving tours and working at events, as well as helping uh, the administration and teachers with tasks throughout the day. This is the gym here at Maggie Walker where indoor sports are played such as volleyball and basketball. PE classes are also taught and will have pep rallies throughout the year. Maggie Walker has all of the major sports that a normal high school does with the exception of football. Students like to joke that our football team is undefeated because we've never once played a game. This is a trade class taught by Miss Hill. At Maggie Walker, students are required to take uh, four different math classes, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, and Trig, but there are, we offer many other classes beyond that, including AP and VCU Dual Enrollment Calculus, and Statistics and Math Modeling. This year, I am in AP AB Calculus. This is a biology class taught by Mr. Barnes. Students are required to take four science credits, starting with biology and then chemistry, physics, and one elective. We have multi-purpose labs where science classes can, that science classes can use for labs such as dissections. There also are many advanced placement science courses offered such as AP Biology, AP Chemistry, and AP Environmental Science. Last year I took AP Chemistry and the following year I'm taking VCU Dual Enrollment Biopsychology. This is one of the two senior commons in the school where most seniors spend their time before school, after school, during lunch, and during their study halls. In addition to having two commons to themselves, the seniors also have the special privilege to go off campus for lunch on Fridays. This is a chemistry classroom and lab for Ms. Todd's class. Most students will take chemistry their sophomore year, but some choose to go on to take AP Chemistry in their junior or senior years. I took chemistry, AP Chemistry my junior year. This is the forum which is used for large clubs for meetings and for guest speakers. 
our largest club at the school, Model UN, meets here on a weekly basis. Also, to either side of the forum, there are small classrooms which are used by our nationally ra ranked debate and academic teams. This is Mr. Wilkes, Global Studies 9 classroom. Students at Maggie Walker are required to take a total of five social studies credits, with their requirements being Global Studies 9, Global Studies 10, United States and Virginia history, United States and Virginia government, and then one elective class. Some elective courses include historiography and genocide studies. Next year, I'm taking AP government. This is our guidance office. We have four counselors, Mr. Zwing for freshmen, Ms. Davis for sophomores and juniors, and we have two senior college counselors, Dr. Loving and Ms. Deck. Our graduating seniors were awarded over $14 million in scholarships and attend, attend colleges across the country. This is the office of Mrs. Parker, who coordinates our senior seminars and mentorships. Seminars are small, concentrated classes that focus on a very narrow subject area, such as military history or international law. Uh, if they don't choose to take a seminar, seniors can also t can take a mentorship, which is basically the same thing as an unpaid internship. Our seniors get to work at places such as banks, law firms, or nonprofits. Thank you so much for coming on the tour of Maggie Walker. We hope you enjoyed visiting our school.